Hey, welcome back everybody, Pack Opening Addict. Uh, I want to take a moment before I open this Double Masters box and say the Demonic Tutor playmat is amazing. It's amazing. I freaking love it. <clears throat> but anyway, Double Masters. These, uh, these are starting to get hard to find, uh, even at the high price points. They're, uh, this is the last box that uh, one of the closer LGSs to here. Um, this is their last box. This is it. They're out now. They had two left. As they stayed, they're like, did you buy, uh, did you buy the other one? I'm like, no, no, I didn't buy the other one. Somebody else did, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, we got 24 gorgeous Double Masters packs. I know I've been doing these on a lot of, uh, battles lately, which has been fun. This box is for me. So we have ourselves the box topper in good shape, thankfully. Now that we got that opened out of the way, let's go hunting, huh? It's a shame that these have become so difficult to find. All right. With the channel, I'm going to pass through commons. You know what? I'm going to do a slight adjustment here. Okay, that's good. All right. So we got Thought to Foundry. Always cool. Sarah Spinks. Golem Artisan, Well of Ideas, and, okay, Slumber Nile. Is that good enough to go at the top anymore? I don't know. You know, this, this, this set is so beefy. Is is like, is that, like in any other set, I would put that over here somewhere. Is this, uh, is this set too beefy for that? I think so. I think it's too beefy. We've got the Valor in Ekros, Sphinx. Ah, uh, Yavimaya's Embrace, and holy $30 Mystic freaking gate. Seriously, why is this so expensive? I mean, awesome. I mean, I, wow, look at how off-center that is. That is crazy off-center. Anyway, yeah, I mean, filter lands are, are awesome, but why is that one specifically? Uh, where do I want to put lands? Right there? Sure. Wrath of God, always awesome. But then again, if I put Wrath of God up there, why can't I put Slumbery now? <clears throat> Ignore my logic at the moment. But yeah, Mystic Gate, which has made its way into being one of the beefy rare pulls. Congratulations, Mystic Gate. Okay, Hexmage, Barons, Valley, Breya for our first Mythic. Karn Liberated. Well, there's our two Mythic pack. <clears throat> Amazing. So we got ourselves a Karn. We got ourselves a Brea. We got ourselves a Mystic Gate. It's a pretty solid start. I still wish I could do these like two or three a week, but nope. Nope, not happening. Stop your engineer. Riddle Smith, similar, Graven Cairns, so our second filter land, and Voice of Resurgence, and nothing, by the way, when you open as many cards as I do, and, I'm, and, and it's amazing when you open up so much standard, and then you open up the Double Masters, how nice these foils are, <clears throat> you get so used to feeling the other ones, and then you open this box and it's like, jeez, like these foils are legit good. They just feel better. Like substantial. Okay, Oracle, Champion, Path to Exile. First uncommon hit. Thought Seize, sweet. And Rolling Earthquake. Cthodion, and Hinder. Oh, that's right. Hinder is an uncommon. Forgot. About to put it with the commons. So it looks like I got a foil Onaganata coming up. Because I spoiled it to myself like that matters. Darksteel Citadel. Rush of Knowledge. Fetid Heath for our third filter. 
And Magus of the Will for our second bulk, which is pretty good so far. No Naginata. Solid start so far. Lightning Grease. Seriously, can you just give me four of these? That's cool. Shaman. Kalia of the Vast for our third Mythic. Three Mythics already. And a Glimmer Void. Which I don't know if people have noticed. This thing corrupt its way back up to where it should probably be. Alright, so this is now the eighth pack. So a third of the way through the box after this. Is it Charm? Veteran Explorer, Reclamation Sage, Sword of the Meek, and Shroom, the Hegemon. And Urza's Power Plant. That's actually really cool and common. Uh, sorry, common uh, foil. So we're going to pack number nine. We are already three Mythics. You, get, you generally get at least six per box. I, I don't think I've ever seen... Or had a box that had less than six, but you can get eight. I think I had a box that had nine once. But that's definitely a far outlier. Pentad Prism. Shaman. Adaptive Automaton. And uh, Doomed Necro Necromancer. Boo! Boo! Oh, a Foil Pongify. That's pretty sweet. And Galvanic Blast Foil. So Karn, Kalia, I wonder where this box is going to go. I'm intrigued. Must have been that intriguing all. Abuletti. Yeah, whatever. Vexing Shusher. Shh. The Scarab God. What is this thing, up to 40 freaking dollars now? Awesome hit. And one I rarely pull. I know I commented that on, on one of the <clears throat> battles, which somebody pulled that. I, that's a, out of all the double masters I've opened, I, I rarely ever see that card. Oops. Almost lost things all over the place. Okay. Mysteries, familiar. Celestia Guild Mage. Phyrexian Revoker. And Brutaclad. Good old Brutaclad. That's actually the first thought season I've hit in a long time, too. A real long time. Doctor Engineer again, Treasure Keeper. Mirror Smith. Crag and Rick Cremator. And Oblivion Stone. Oh, Foil Expedition Map. Okay, we've turned off the faucet, apparently, after the Scarab God. Let's get back to the beef. Vizcal, not beef, at least not in this format. And Endless Atlas. We still have a foil rare coming up at some point, at least one of them. All right, so this row has been a little subpar. Happens. It happens. Double Masters does that. It takes you down all the highs and lows. And we are not low right now. Oh, we got a Mythic. We have a Chrome freaking Mox. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. That's five Mythics already. All right, Tempered Steel. Rapacious Dragon. Dark Steel X. Ravenous Intruder, Death Reap Ritual, Trash for Treasure, okay, and High Market, Blade Splicer. Yeah, that was a pretty weak pack overall. Might have even been the weakest so far. Might open up.
Throne of Geth, Oriox Salvagers, Thirst for Knowledge, Wound Reflection, cool, and Greater Good. That was just one of those, like, we're just going to hand you a couple, you know, solid rares. Not home runs, but you're not going to be disappointed, type packs. Bam push. Validica Risp. And Time Sieve. Heartbre heartbeat. Heartbeat. Heartbeat of Spring. So what are we on now? How many packs we got left? So we got seven packs left. No rare foils yet, or mythic foils. And snaring bridge. Getting all kinds of oddballs in this particular box. Tuck, tuck. And nothing else in that one. So that is six mythics. Hoping for one more. Can't count on it. We might be done with the mythics. Factory, Rampager, Skull Muncher, Blood Moon. Always a nice pull. Yep, well, there's there's another mythic. There is the seventh mythic. It is Geist of St. Treft. Fortunately, it looks like no swords in this one. I was kind of hoping for some swords, but that's okay. Can't always get what you want. Yep, just threw that card all over the place. And Isochron Scepter, cool. And Master Transmuter. And no foil rare yet. Or Mythic. Yeah, that's seven Mythics. That's probably going to be it for the box. But let's try to get what we got left. So with this pack, I'm opening now four packs left. Let's get some of the huge rare hits, huh? And by the way, where's the bobble? Fulminator Mage. Bosch Iron Golem. Hey, hey, Box. And Bosch. I am not doing a battle here. You don't need to show up. Casting cost doesn't matter. Oh, a foil fatal push. Pungify. Ravenous Trip, Maelstrom Pulse, and wow, still no Foil Rare Mythic. Are we going to get to one of those packs where it just got four rares? Nice, Basalt Monolith, Rugged Prairie for our fourth filter, Phyrexian Metamorph, Skull Muncher and Magus of the Will Foil. That is a wah wah wow. Last pack. Then we'll get to that box offer. While this has not been the strongest box, it's still hard to not find a whole bunch of really, really, really good pulls out of it. Mesmeric Orb. And Toxic Deluge. Sweet. Can I get one more foil rare? Nope, doesn't look like it. One foil rare box. But, <clears throat> as much as this box wasn't particularly strong, this matters. Opening it super gently. So, you can get two uh, Mythic Box Toppers, as has been discussed and people have shown. It's very rare to do. The top one is usually the rare. Hey! Stoneforge Mystic! Oh, 
Well, that is the best rare you can get. And that immediately goes to help uh, make this box sweet. What we got? Oh, we got another rare. And it looks, is that meddling mage? It is meddling mage. Well, Stoneforge Mystic, right? I mean, that's that's a really strong hit. and Stronger than most of the mythics, actually. So I'll take that. Um, other than that, Still kind of a deep box overall, even if it didn't quite get the giant hits. So I'm not feeling disappointed. I know that some people will pop and be able to be like, that box was weak, but honestly, the bulk pile is pretty small. There's just a lot of a lot of the one to four dollar cards in there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time.